My name is Hopeton Dixon. I'm from Jamaica. I live in America, New York. I work with Street Soccer USA. My name is Tamar Moshe. I'm from Israel. I'm 27 years old. I come from an organization called the Paris Center for Peace. Hi, uh, my name is Kaziva Ahmadi. I'm originally from the Kurdish part of Iran. And right now I'm living in Germany and working for the organization Rheinflanke in Cologne. My name is Nalu. I'm from Zambia. I'm working for Sport in Action and I'm currently coordinating a project for the girls that looks at girls participation in sport. The Youth Forum took place in Lyon from June 28 until July 7, bringing together 90 young leaders from 50 countries from all over the world coming together um, and, and creating just a wonderful group of people. They were selected because at a very young age what they do is they take up responsibility and design and run programs within their organizations um, that tackle issues like gender equality, like violence prevention or social inclusion, taking for example programs that deal with refugees or with homeless people. My organization deals with uh, the peace issue in Israel uh, between Arabs and Jewish people. Soccer is a main uh, way to communicate because we speak different languages and different cultures and everything is different. I think it, it, it gives the children a really great opportunity to, to have a nice experience together because usually during the normal life in Israel we only meet each other on like another circum circumstances which are really not like that. We work with um, pretty much homelessness. So we go into like low-income neighborhoods, like find schools that have after-school drop-offs, stuff like that. We go there, we teach them soccer. Our organization, we uh, do a lot of um, youth programs with, through football and also we implement Football Tree in it. I'm more into refugee projects, which means um, Sports is like, you don't need language for that and uh, if it's dancing, if it's um, volleyball, football or whatever, you can use all that. So the Girls in Action project is uh, a project that looks at the healthy and social issues that girls are facing in rural and also in urban areas. So issues like uh, teenage pregnancy, uh, um, which leads to school dropout, issues of uh, sexual harassment, issues of uh, rape, issues of um, early child marriages. Uh, being a girl, I understand what other girls were going through. So uh, me and, and the other girls from my organization, we sat down and came up with the Girls in Action uh, project. Along the 10 days of the Youth Forum, the young leaders took place in many different activities. For example, they got to know the football three methodologies and were, were, were trained as, as trainers to implement those kind of programs within their organizations. They took part in many different Football for Good workshops. They did a site visits to, to Lyon, so they got to know um, the community and they, for example, made a visit at the Goethe Institute. What I like most about the Youth Forum, I think what was the highlight is, is that the Youth Forum in itself provided the opportunity and the platform for these youngsters to exchange experiences and to jointly develop and design programs that they were going to implement for the next two years. My expectations are to uh, make uh, new friends and uh, get some new ideas for future events and future projects. So far we had a little conversation about Football Tree and our role as mediators and after that uh, theoretic uh, part we came to the field and played Football Tree. We met some really great people. Um, it's like uh, we've been here for two days and we keep uh, like uh, knowing each other and asking each other about uh, how it is back home and uh, what is your organization doing and it's really interesting to meet all these people. This was a little play around introduction, really bored. I'm, I'm very confident that 
um, you know what those young leaders learned at the youth forum in Lyon um, is definitely something that they will take back to their communities and, and that will help them to, to design their future programs and to run these programs. So there's a lot of transfer that has happened. And um, what strikes me, and actually thanks to the support of the Federal Foreign Office, um, now we have a youth council. Those 90 participants of the youth forum finally elected five representatives from five different continents even to be the voice of the young generation within the Street Football Network and that definitely makes me proud. Even though we are like from different countries, it, it has become really easy to interact because Absolutely. of the three days that we spend together. It's crazy how, how, how we like all came together and like became like this one family like in, within three days. This experience opened my, my mind so I can uh, maybe think of like doing it in football three tournament that is involved or something like that. It was easy to communicate because regardless of the race, religion, country, we have one thing in common and that's football. If we bring that back to our community, somehow the energy and the thoughts that we learn and I think, uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna achieve a lot. <laughs> we will. And we should actually, because yeah, we, we are the ones yeah. that are gonna make a change. Mm -hmm.